Fifty years ago, in the heart of Ethiopia's arid landscape, a discovery was made that shook the foundations of human history. Buried beneath the sands of time lay a 3.2 million year old mystery, a nearly complete skeleton of an ancient ancestor. Her name was Lucy. She wasn't just a fossil. Lucy was a beacon of discovery, rewriting what we thought we knew about ourselves. For decades, her life and death have puzzled scientists. Was she prey to a fierce predator? Did she stumble into danger? Or could her demise reveal something even more profound? Prepare to journey back millions of years. What we've uncovered about Lucy's final moments will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about our origins. Let's find out why Lucy's story is far from over. Discovery of Lucy In 1974, a discovery that would reshape our understanding of human evolution was made in the harsh, dry landscape of Ethiopia. This wasn't just another fossil find. It was the fossil. The discovery was so incredible, it sent shockwaves through the scientific community. A nearly complete skeleton, dating back 3.2 million years, was unearthed by paleoanthropologist Donald Johansson and his team. They named her Lucy, after the Beatles' song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which was playing on the radio as they celebrated the find. But what made Lucy so significant? Well, for starters, her discovery was a game-changer in the field of paleoanthropology. She wasn't just another ancient fossil. She was a direct link to our distant ancestors. At the time, the scientific world was embroiled in debates about how early human ancestors evolved. Did we first develop the ability to walk on two legs? Or was it the expansion of our brains that marked our evolutionary path? Lucy would become a key piece in this puzzle. Significance of Lucy now. Let's talk about why Lucy was so important. Before she came into the picture, scientists had a theory that early human ancestors developed larger brains before they evolved to walk on two legs. But Lucy turned that theory upside down. Her fossil revealed that bipedalism, walking on two legs, came long before the expansion of the brain. Lucy's bipedal anatomy was clear. The shape of her pelvis, her knee joints, and the alignment of her legs pointed to one undeniable truth. She was built to walk on two legs. In fact, she had a body structure almost identical to modern humans when it comes to walking upright. This discovery was groundbreaking because it showed that our early ancestors had already adapted to life on two feet while their brains were still relatively small. This suggests that walking on two legs was the first major evolutionary step on the road to becoming human. It wasn't just about walking. It was about how early hominins were starting to adapt to their environment in ways that other creatures hadn't. And Lucy was one of the first to show us this dramatic shift. Physical Characteristics But what did Lucy actually look like? Well, she wasn't much taller than a modern child, about 3.5 feet tall, and she weighed in at around 60 to 65 pounds. Now think about that for a second. A fully grown human ancestor, standing at just over three feet tall. It's hard to imagine, right? Her size, though, didn't mean she wasn't well adapted to her environment. Despite her small stature, Lucy had a remarkable set of physical traits that made her suited to the African savanna. For one, she was bipedal, no more knuckle-walking like apes. But she still retained some ape-like features, like the ability to climb trees. Her long, powerful arms and curved fingers were a clear indication of this. It's fascinating because this shows that, although Lucy was well on her way to walking fully upright like us, she still had some habits and skills that were better suited for an arboreal lifestyle. Now imagine Lucy, tiny in size but packing a punch in terms of survival skills. She might have been walking on two legs, but she could still scale trees with the grace of an ape when needed. This ability would have been crucial for escaping predators or finding food, a diet and social structure. Lucy's diet was as flexible as her lifestyle. From the evidence we've gathered, it looks like Lucy wasn't picky. She ate a variety of things from plant material, grasses, roots, and fruits, to insects and possibly even small animals. This omnivorous diet likely helped her adapt to a wide range of environments, 
which was key to surviving in a world where predators were constantly on the hunt. But it wasn't just what Lucy ate that tells us about her life. It's also how she lived. Lucy was likely part of a group of around 15 to 20 individuals, much like modern chimpanzees. These groups were important because they provided safety in numbers, offering protection against the many large carnivores that roamed the African landscape, such as saber-toothed cats and large crocodiles. Social structure is another critical piece of the puzzle. Evidence suggests that Lucy species likely engaged in cooperative behaviors, looking out for each other. For example, a fracture found in the leg of another Australopithecus afarensis, the same species as Lucy, had healed over time, suggesting that members of the group took care of each other. This level of care and cooperation would have been essential for survival, particularly when faced with dangers like hunting carnivores. Cause of death now, we come to one of the most intriguing aspects of Lucy's life, her death. For decades, scientists assumed that Lucy died from a violent predator attack. The initial theory suggested that she may have been taken by a crocodile, judging by a tooth mark found on her pelvis. Crocodiles were known to ambush their prey, so it made sense. Lucy was small, and she might have wandered too close to water, falling victim to the deadly jaws of a crocodile. But here's where the story takes a twist. Thanks to advancements in technology, specifically high-resolution CT scans and 3D imaging, we now know that Lucy's injuries weren't consistent with a predator attack. Instead, they point to something else. A fall. Yes, Lucy may have fallen from a tree. The fractures found in her right shoulder, ribs, and knees suggest she fell from a significant height, likely landing feet first before collapsing onto her hands. This was a critical turning point in understanding Lucy's death. While she may have been in the trees, foraging for food or seeking shelter, her fall likely caused fatal injuries. It's tragic, but it also makes sense. Lucy was a species that still lived partly in trees, and the environment of the African savanna was dangerous for creatures trying to adapt to life on two legs. Lucy's legacy. Even though Lucy's story ended in a tragic fall, her legacy is far from over. In fact, she remains one of the most significant discoveries in paleoanthropology. Lucy's fossil has provided scientists with invaluable insights into the evolutionary path that eventually led to Homo sapiens. Thanks to her, we now understand that the road to becoming human wasn't a simple, linear process. It was complex and multifaceted. Lucy's bones have been studied for decades, and every time new technology is used to analyze them, we learn something new. Her skeleton continues to shape the way we view early hominins, helping us understand how humans evolved and adapted to the world around them. And Lucy isn't just important to scientists. Her story has captured the imagination of the public and continues to inspire new generations of people to learn about our origins. Her fossil is housed in Ethiopia's National Museum, where it remains an iconic symbol of human evolution. In many ways, Lucy is more than just an ancient ancestor. She represents the relentless pursuit of knowledge, the curiosity to understand where we came from, and the desire to answer the ultimate question, what makes us human? Lucy's fall may have marked the end of her life, but it sparked the beginning of a story that would transcend time. Her bones became more than just a relic of the past. They became the voice of our ancestors, speaking to us across the millennia. Every detail of Lucy's fossil, from the curve of her pelvis to the fractures in her ribs, tells a story. A story of survival, adaptation, and ultimately, the fragility of life. As we unravel the mystery of her death, we're reminded of the resilience and determination it took for our species to evolve. In Lucy's legacy, we find a mirror to our own journey, a reminder that our past is both fragile and extraordinary. She challenges us to reflect on where we've come from and to wonder where we're headed. So now, we turn to you. What do you think Lucy's story tells us about our place in the vast timeline of life? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear how this ancient ancestor inspires you. And remember, her story is not just about the past. It's about us, today. 
and the legacy we leave for the future.